In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for RBCl. This is rubidium chloride. So this is an ionic compound since we have a metal and a nonmetal. In an ionic compound, the metal is going to transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So we write RB for the rubidium and then Cl, that's for the chlorine. Rubidium on the periodic table, that's in group 1. It has one valence electron. Chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That has seven valence electrons. So we said this is an ionic compound. The metal is going to transfer its electron to the nonmetal. So the chlorine, when we do that, now the chlorine, it has eight valence electrons. That's an octet. It's very stable. And since the chlorine, it gained an electron, it has another negative charge, it has an ionic charge of one minus. The rubidium, it lost an electron. Electrons are negative. It lost a negative charge. It becomes 1 plus. Let's draw brackets around the chlorine to show that the rubidium lost that electron. It transferred the electron to the chlorine. It's not shared like in a covalent bond. So now we have a positive ion, the rubidium ion, and then the negative ion, the chloride ion. That negative and that positive, they're attracted to each other. That's what forms our ionic bond. So this is the Lewis structure for rubidium chloride, RBCl. Do note that this is just one formula unit. If we had a crystal of rubidium chloride, it'd be a repeating pattern of this formula unit. Still, this Lewis structure is useful. It shows the rubidium, the metal, it transferred an electron to the nonmetal, giving us the Lewis structure for RBCl. Thanks for watching.